Hi, I'm Kara with Smart Sports Tech. Thank you for your Smart Backstop purchase. I'd like to show you how to assemble your Smart Backstop for lacrosse. Let's get started. Make sure you have everything shown here. Four short net poles, four long net poles, the water jug, the two corner brackets, the netting, and your instruction manual. Our corner brackets have been designed for nets with both square and round corner goal frames, and even those that have lacing bars on the back. First, we're going to be attaching the two corner brackets to the rear goal corners. Be sure to stand behind the net when you're attaching the corner brackets. We're going to slide the bracket on, make sure they are aligned at a 45 degree angle. It should be parallel with the goal frame pipe or slightly lean forward. As seen in step two of the owner's manual, the bracket should form a 45 degree angle with the goal frame. With that, the bracket should also be parallel to the goal frame as seen in step seven. Make sure the bracket is nice and snug, the Velcro is fastened, and then flip the Y-shaped pivot bracket into the down position. Now let's get the net ready to install. Find the two net pull sleeves with the logo as a reference, spread the net around the tail of the goal, and be sure to have the Smart Backstop logo face up. Next, you wanna insert the long net pull into the short net pull. You're gonna put the end without the white sticker into the silver side. To insert the pull, you wanna find the insert here sign, take the rubber tip and push it into the sleeve. You may feel some resistance, but make sure to keep pushing until the pull reaches the end. As you can see in the owner's manual, you do not have to remove the net poles when uninstalling the Smart Backstop. If you do need to remove the net poles, you'll see that the short pole remains inside the sleeve. To reinstall, simply insert the long pole and then pinch to find the end of the short pole and reconnect them. Inserting the net poles into the pivot bracket, you're going to want to pick them up and stand on the outside of the net. As you insert the poles, you want to make sure you put them in in a straight line. If they come in at an angle, they might get stuck. So you want to insert one in straight up until where the white meets the pivot bracket. Insert the other three poles the same way. Next, you're going to take the bungee and insert only one end through the gold eyelet. Once it's in, you're going to tie it up nice and tight. You want to make sure that the gold eyelet is close to the ball clamp. Now you want to grab the water jug and fill it three quarters of the way full. Once that's done, you're going to place it on the back of the net and this is going to act as a counterweight. This is super important to keep the smart backstop from blowing over in high winds. Next, we are going to be flipping the net up. Whichever side you insert the net pole second is the first side you open because those poles are on top. So you're going to grab both of the poles in a Y shape, lift them forward, and once you have them in the upright position, slightly wiggle the pivot bracket while pushing down to help engage the locking position. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, flipping up and push down to lock it in. Once you flipped your net upright, you want to make sure that it's locked into place. To do this, you're just going to give it a little test, tap it, and make sure your bracket is locked in. If it is not locked, just slightly wiggle the pivot bracket while pushing down to lock it into place. Make sure that the end of the net sleeves are near the ball clamp. This ensures that the net poles are bottomed out in the net pull sleeves. Once it is fully deployed, make sure the net has a slight forward lean as shown here. Once you've set up your smart backstop and straightened out the net wings, you may want to attach them to the goal posts. You can do this using the Velcro straps provided. This is optional, but it helps the net wing recover faster when running line drills. When you're done practicing with your smart backstop, you're going to want to make sure you put it away. In order to do this, grab the two poles, lift upwards, and flip the bracket back. Make sure to do this for both sides, tucking in the extra netting as you go. And you're always going to want to put away your smart backstop after using it to make sure that it doesn't get blown over by high winds. Thanks again for purchasing a smart backstop for lacrosse. Time for you to practice smart.